Hi everyone, it's Larry. Today I'm doing a homebrew video again. It, it'll be a blonde ale as the beer, but the uh, the point or purpose of the video is actually going to show off some of these new hops I found at the local homebrew shop called German Whole Melon. These uh, hops were labeled as having sort of a flavor and aroma profile of strawberry and melon. So figured that would be a good compliment to blonde ale. So I bought them up and brought them home and I changed my blonde ale recipe got rid of my uh, usual hops and I thought I'd throw these things in there and see how they turn out. So watch this. The mash is getting going here now. Um, so my grain bill for my mash is uh, what you can see here is a, about 10 pounds total of mixed grains. For a blonde ale you definitely want to keep the, the grain bill simple. So uh, probably can't see this very well but uh, let's see. There you go. So I'll get about uh, 9 pounds of Two row pale malt, um, about a half pound of pale crystal malt, and about a half pound of Vienna malt. So, real small specialty malts, but mainly base malt. And uh, I'm preheating my um, my uh, water to about 162.9 right now, and that's uh, going to be the uh, strike temperature for my mash. Well, on the topic of uh, equipment, I also, uh, you know, I, I need water in my garage. Um, I don't have a sink out here, so I had to run a hose and a, a little wife splitter here and a, and a little uh, little pocket hose there that coils up real nicely and stores away for, like, washing stuff as well. But uh, my water, I live in around Chicago where we use Lake Michigan water, and it's chlorinated. So I bought this little RV filter to dechlorinate and filter my my tap water and a little hose there I used to fill up my my kettles with so this is really nice I don't have to go back inside anymore and uh, fill up my my kettle off my filtered uh, sink water R real nice addition I just want to point out while my mash water is heating up I bought a new um, piece of equipment that helps my home brewing which is this floor burner St stainless steel plugged into my propane tank off off camera it's got lots of like little nozzles in here that uh, really heat up this water really well. Inside my house it took about an hour and a half to heat up this much water. Uh, here about 20 minutes so this is a great addition to my lineup. Here's a view of my mash tun before I put the grains in. For those who haven't seen my other beer videos this is a down the bottom there you see a, a CPVC manifold with little holes drilled in it. It helps filter and siphon out the the, uh, the wort later after the mash is complete. So if you want to learn a bit more about that, uh, I have a couple other homebrew videos I've done that talk about this in a little bit more detail. Here's a view of my uh, mash steps and, and uh, quantities. So uh, you can see there are all the my assumptions and measurements for all my uh, you know water to grist ratio, my ambient grain temperature, my mash temperature I hope to target, and also uh, the, the number of steps required of filling and draining to get my uh, total quantity for my a batch of beer here so I'm, I'm going to follow this during the mashing process. Right now I'm preheating the mash tun with uh, a lot of hot water to well to preheat it so my mash calcs work out better. Mash has now started. I got the grains in there with about 15 quarts of strike water. The mash temp settled in about 152 and a half and I was targeting 152 so that was absolutely almost perfect. So I'm going to let this sit for about 45 minutes and then get back to it. Mesh is complete. been about 45 minutes. I uh, checked for the starch conversion. Com check. So let's go ahead and get this out. Uh, well, actually, let's get this thing drained. So I got two steps. I got to fill it, fill it the rest of the way up with some water, drain it, and refill it, stir it up, and drain it again. So let me go through that laborious process. All right, doing the first step. I had about four and a half quarts of water. It drains right on down into there. And there it goes. Meshing's all done. Now we're just, you know, heating up to a boil. About 185 degrees right now. It'll be boiling in just probably another five, ten minutes. Sixty minutes till the end of the boil. I threw in a half ounce of the Willamette hops. Gonna wait a half hour and throw the other half of an ounce in. All right, thirty minutes uh, till the end. I threw the other half ounce of Willamette in there and stirred it in. So uh, let's move on to the next step. This right here is the reason for this video, these German whole melon hops. I never had them before and I was making a blonde ale and I figured they'd be a good pairing. So this is why this video is being made. 
All right, there's 10 minutes left in the, in the boil. I've already got my uh, World Flock tablets in there for a few minutes already. Uh, now it's for the for the Big Bang. This is that uh, whole melon hops. So uh, I'm going to put a half ounce in for now. And in 10 more minutes, another half ounce at flame out. All right, in the final bang, the uh, German whole melon. Is it focusing? There it goes. Going in, half ounce, turn off the heat. Let's go. The word is all cooled down and ready to siphon into my sanitized carboy. So let's move on with that. All right, there we go. Draining. Well, all filled up. Ready to add the yeast. Well, the beer is ready to go. Right here, my blonde ale with my German whole melon hops. Just gave it a pour off the tap. It smells like blonde ale. It smells like beer. No, uh, no, no uh, outlandish aromas of strawberry or melon like uh, the package said. But let's taste it out. So. Um, you know, good beer, good blonde ale wasn't the point of the video. The point of the video was to uh, see how these German whole melon hops, uh, you know, affected it. So, um, it's a good beer. Whole melon hops really didn't make a big deal with it. It's good. There's a little bit of, I guess, flavor and aroma similar to what the package said, but nothing outlandish. I mean, if you really want to make a real strawberry like blonde ale, you know, use strawberries. These are, yeah, it's just a good beer. So, oh well.